this 3D model of a birthday cake is completely AI generated. And you are seeing this inside my blender with all the colors. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can use OpenAI's new model called Shapey and use that to use your idea as a text and then create the 3D object. We have already had a video that covers technical details of Shapey, but there were few details that I had missed and a lot of people were asking me about how to add colors, how to download the model and uh, all those kind of things. So this video is going to focus particularly on those aspects about how you can run this Google Collab notebook and how you can get into Blender with this kind of colorful 3D application which further you can do whatever you want. You want to change, you want to add color, you want to do whatever you want, all those things you can do. But in this video, I'm going to start from this notebook where you're going to generate a 3D object and export it as a polygon object and then get this into Blender, which is colorful, not, not something you know that, that is not usable. To start with, we're going to use a Google Collab notebook. This Google Collab notebook runs on a GPU. You can go to the runtime and click change runtime. As you can see, it generates on GPU. A lot of people have been asking me, can you use this on your local machine? Of course, you can use this on your local machine. Even if it is a CPU, you can use, but the rendering time time will be really high and it depends upon what kind of processor that you have got. And based on that, you can um, try to run this on your machine. For you to run this on your machine, you need to have Python installed the very first thing. And then you need to do everything that I'm doing here. First of all, you need to have a folder called Shapey. You need to download from it. And then inside that folder, you need to go and pip install. I hope you understand that. So first you need to download or clone this repository Shapey. Then you need to use your terminal or go uh, command prompt and go inside the folder and then do the installation. If you're running this on a local machine, everything else remains the same. You can open Visual Studio Code or anywhere and then run everything. But I would strongly encourage you to run it on a GPU on Google Collab, which is a free GPU. That's where I am running this. To start with the code, first we are going to replicate the no, replicate the folder, which is OpenAI Shapey, and we are going to enter inside the folder. And once we enter inside the folder, we are going to make installation. We are going to install the library Shapey here. After we have installed the library Shapey, we need to import certain things. And one of the most important things in this is decode underscore latent underscore images. Decode underscore latent underscore images. And finally, we'll also import one more important thing that says decode underscore latent underscore mesh. So if you want to view what the latents or uh, the 3D generated items just on the notebook, then you need decode underscore latent underscore images because it's going to decode the latent, which is let's say your dream space. Let's let's call it dream space. Decode the latent into images. But if you want to decode the latents into mesh, then that's what you need to use here. So anyways, the code will actually work. But for you to understand what is it, that's why I'm explaining you those details. And then you have to set the device. If you are using an NVIDIA GPU or on Google Collab, that is basically CUDA enabled device. So torch your device and this entire code will first decide whether you are running this on a CUDA enabled device or a CPU. Um, again, if your question is, can I run this on an AMD device? Can I run this on Apple Silicon, which is metal enabled? You can run this on it, but you will not get the same performance as a CUDA enabled device. That, uh, that's something for you to keep in mind. The next thing is we need to load the required model. So we are going to load the transmitter model and the model, the text model, which we are going to use to create the 3D object simply using text. So after we have loaded all the models, as you can see, it takes about like two gig here, two gig here and almost one gig here. So approximately you need around three gig storage or uh, sorry, four, four, four gig storage because all these things become four gig. Now I'm not getting into the details of this. Simply to say a uh, batch size will help you decide how many objects to create and guidance scale is kind of a metric that tells you how much this 3D generation should go closer to the, the prompt that you're giving. The prompt in this case is the text that you're going to give as a guidance. So you're expecting the AI to create a 3D model in the dream space, in the latent space closer to this prompt. So I can go here and then give whatever I want. I can say I want a pair of sunglasses. Okay, so I can say pair of sunglasses and I can say batch size two or batch size one. 
I'm going to stick to batch size one, a pair of colorful sunglasses. Let's do colorful. And I'm going to run this. When I run this, you can see that it is using the model. It is using all the parameters and it is trying to create the 3D object of a sunglass of a pair of colorful sunglasses. But it does not create the 3D object. Rather, it is creating in the dream space or the latent space. That's why you can see that it is actually sampling the latent and it's going to go inside this object called latents. At this point, the latents are created. If you want to see the latents, you have two different ways. You can either see it as a nerf or you can see it as an STF, which is um, for the 3D object in itself. So I'm going to click nerf and I'm going to just display it so that we can actually see it. That's where we are using the decode underscore latent underscore images for us to just visually see it, not inside any 3D software, just within your Google Colab notebook, you can see, okay, so we have created a colorful 3D glass, pair of 3D glasses, sorry, sunglasses, and it doesn't look, I mean, really very attractive, but uh, that's again up to you, right? Uh, my duty is to teach you how to create something, but your duty is to become creative about it because I'm not an expert in this. So become creative about the prompts that you give, play with the guidance scale. As uh, much as you change the guidance scale, things change. Like honestly, for example, I can go 9.0 and then generate the same thing. And you would see huge difference. Like let me keep this also. And let me run this as a separate line of code. So you know how much it differs uh, so that you can see, okay, the first one that we generated looks like this. And let's see how the second one that we generated looks like. Once that is done, final step, we are going to go ahead and then create De use decode underscore latent underscore mesh to actually save this mesh actually save the latents as a 3d polygon object dot ply in the last video i had shared point cloud one of my subscriber corrected me thank you so much so run this again to see how the 3d image the gif actually the 3d image shot with the different cameras you can see we are creating a pan camera so it's going to create pan and uh, how does it look? So this is one glass. This is another glass. At this point, we have basically overwritten this glass with this. But by changing the guidance scale, you can see how the image also changes. Like there are subtle differences. Now I'm going to go ahead and then use this piece of code. Like I said, this is going to take the latents and create a PLY file. So that's what it is going to do. And you can give whatever name that you want. Like for example, in this case, if I'm going to say I'm going to use the file called uh, let's say 3d glasses okay that's what i'm going to do and uh, this is going to be based on the batch size in our case the batch size is one so it's fine but if the batch size is more than one then it's going to create multiple ply files i'm going to run this code once i run this code it is going to save a file 3d glasses underscore zero dot ply inside my current working directory where is my current working directory in Google Colab? Click this folder icon and then go inside. Like when you click that, you will see something like this. Go inside Shapey. Once you go inside Shapey, it's quite easy for you to see 3D glasses underscore zero. And as you can see, before I made this video, I tried a pink elephant, planet Earth and all these kind of 3D objects. So now I can download this 3D underscore glasses underscore zero dot PLY and go here click download. If you want to rename it, you can rename it, whatever you want. Like for example, you want to change the name. It's quite simple. Click the three dots and click download. Click the three dots, click download. Once the circle finishes, it means the download is finished. It's going to ask you to save. Just click here. And once it is saved, you can see the file has been saved. Now go to blender. And once you go to blender, now you can delete existing object basically. So, or you can close the blender and new or the easiest option is you can open a new general project. So don't save this project, delete your existing object from the blender and go to file, click import and click dot PLY and go to this particular place where you have already downloaded this and kept it, which is a 3d glasses, click 3d glasses, import PLY and you can see the PLY is imported. And as you can see, it is good. It is honestly good, but it's quite boring at this point. You know, like a lot of people actually told me that why does it not look like the colors with which we made? Because that's something that is significant. So what we are going to do now is we're going to make a very simple change, which, which I took a lot of time to learn. 
from click the object and go to the object mode and from object mode select vertex paint and once you select vertex paint you can actually see the colors with which you actually made something that is what is reflecting so the same thing you can see it's now with the actual color with which it rendered so you can see the 3d glasses again not so perfect you can make a lot of changes to make it perfect the point here is you can make a 3d object with the colors you can go back to your google collab notebook and see the colors in fact so the colors with which we made the same colors can be seen here and then you now you can do whatever you want use a brush and then you know add different color like for example i can put pink color i can I, I can just basically do whatever I want. Again, like I said, I'm not a blender expert, so, but if you are a blender expert, you would, of course, obviously know what to do and have have a look at it. And then you have a 3D created object like this quite be quite useful for gaming assets. Again, just to quickly recap the tutorial, when you open the Google Collab notebook that is in the YouTube description, it would look like this. Run the entire set of code, like just basically run all. And uh, once you run all, go to the prompt for C, like by default, whatever you have, does it work? Then go to the prompt and then give the right prompt that you want. Batch size is to say how many objects you want to create of the same prompt, the text one. The color, the guidance scale will help you change um, the way the object is created. So you can play with the different guidance scales. Once that is done, then you can, if you want to just view it within the Google Collab Notebook, you can create a nerf or something and then you can see it. But if you don't want to create, you want to just download it, then you can come here, just set the render mode as STF and then come here and uh, yeah, just download the download the mesh um, by decoding the latent, which is like the dream space, give the right file name that you want it to be downloaded. After you have written it to the file, go to the folder on the left hand side. And once you go to the folder, you would see something like this, click shapey folder and scroll down and pick the file name and download the file name. Then once you download the file name, go to Blender. Once you go to Blender, you would uh, you would not have anything. So you would have something like uh, this, um, a simple object, delete the object or keep the object, whatever you want. Go to File, Import and uh, select, click PLY Stanford and import the object and once you come and import click the object mode and then select vertex mode there so whatever object mode that you have click, Fra click the object, object click and here, go to and the object mode vertex and paint and that from object mode have select vertex paint, paint. and the once you select vertex paint object, you can actually see you wanted to create i hope this video was helpful to you in learning 3d ai generation from using shapey just from google collab to blender if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. But if you want to also teach me something, please let me know in the comment section. I am always happy to hear feedback and improve my videos. See you in another video. Happy prompting.